Hello and welcome back to another video on the Ghana Collective YouTube channel. How is everyone doing today? In today's quick video, I'm going to discuss uh, a problem that happened on my new Azure Star Strix 17 laptop, which got me worried that I might have to um, uninstall. So uh, as you can see here now, this is my Azure Strix at the moment. And uh, uh, at the background here, you can see my Azure x 550 ca doing a Windows 10 update but it's all about this computer at the moment so what I'm going to show you now is what happened to me so I'll tell you what happened to me then and a couple of uh, days ago after having the laptop it was running perfectly for several weeks and then one day I went to uh, change my uh, Armoury Crate or FX to a different setting like the ones at the top here like Breathing, Strobing, Colour Cycle, Rainbow, Starry, Starry Night and Music so when I tried to do that, nothing was happening, and then eventually it would happen, but it would be like a, a long delay, I didn't know what was going on. So I went into the Armoury Crate itself, and I tried to like uh, sync the devices which are always there, because the Armoury Crate knows my laptop by name, and uh, I kept on coming up with this. No devices available. So uh, I then decided if it wasn't going to work that way, I'd go into Armory Crate like this here now. This is Armory Crate, and I'd click onto um, System, and I click onto the lighting here, and this was working a lot better, but it was slower. So these are different lighting effects here, like Ripple, Reactive Laser, and uh, Flash and Dash Star and Rain. At the moment now it's on Rain. That's why you can see like doing that. Uh, really cool effect on the keyboard <clears throat> so uh, I did a quick search onto um, YouTube and onto Google and people on Reddit were saying the best thing to do would be to uh, uninstall your Armour Crate and then reinstall the software again but I didn't want to go through that because I didn't want to be tracking down all the software I could find so I thought it was just like in a way a problem with uh, the software loading got badly on the laptop one day but it happened on the next day as well so I was getting kind of concerned so I emailed, let me show you the email now. I emailed a Zeus uh, support page. You can see it now. If you can read it now, the armor crate no longer working. And I also attached this screenshot, which I just showed a second ago, which is this one here. That's the screenshot that I attached to the email and said, like, I don't know what's going on with it. What, what could be the problem? So it was lasting for like a... Uh, two days now I was getting really concerned because I didn't want to uninstall it and having to put all the settings back on the armor crate and also find the software itself so what I do what I always do on a Sunday night before I go to bed is uh, I always do like uh, this cleaning software I do the um, command prompt here the disk cleanup the C cleaner and the, and the malware bytes but um, and the command prompt, I do this. So I did this, I right clicked, and I went to uh, run an administrator. That's the only way you can actually uh, do different things if messing with uh, these settings on the command prompt. And then what I did was this if it loads up, and it is, yeah. Okay, let's maximize this so I can show you. So here we are, we have this here. <coughs> we got the C Windows 32. So what I did, was I did simple like a uh, check disk, which is CHKDSK, I entered. And as you can see now, it's in a quick scan, trying to fix any problems that's going on with the laptop at the moment. This is my own findings out. This is not a video I've watched, and I thought I'd copy it onto my own video. This is my own, like, uh, this is what I always do every Sunday night. I do all my scans to make sure that the computer is like a... Uh, free of any problems so this is my own finding out of how I did this so as you can see now it's saying Windows I found no problems so what I do as well is I do a chkdsk slash f so what that will do now is it will scan the drive when the computer reboots so I clicked yes on that so it will scan the drive and I also did as well a scan a scan now so that was a sfc space slash scan now and I clicked enter and because this is a SSD drive this was done super quick 
Usually on my mechanical driver, my Zeus G750 JS, you can wait for like uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes before it's completely done. So as you can see now, it's going up really quick. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video until it's done at 100%, then I'll continue with what I discovered. Okay then, so we're getting close to 100 now. There we are, 100. And I uh, did that. And uh, I shut down. The next day, as, as I said, I turned on the PC and it did all the SFC scan this now before like the actual boot. And uh, it kept on reading at the very bottom up here, fixing errors, fixing, fixing, fixing. Which I didn't think there was no errors, as you can see here now, it's saying no errors at all, no problems. So uh, it kept on doing that. And then afterwards, like when it restarted, which is like uh, today when I uh, turn on the PC, I then like thought I'd do the normal FN and or a key F4 to bring up the... Um, the lighting effects what the uh, star tricks can do and it worked so I thought hang on it's worked straight away what's going on here so what I did was um, close this screenshot here now I went back into the army crate here after doing all of our scans at the very beginning of like uh, rebooting the PC I went to um, <clears throat> system here and it seemed okay then I went down to Aura Effects and I was shocked to see my laptop name had been put back. And then I tried the Aura Effect and uh, look at the keys now, you'll see them change. Let's go to Rainbow. Rainbow worked. Then Starry Night. Then uh, Strobing worked. Everything was working perfectly because those uh, scans at the very beginning of the, um, the PC reboot had actually fixed the problems that my uh, laptop had with the actual um, aura problems and fixed it. As you can see now, static, breathing, strobing, it's all working perfectly again, quick as well. No more like... Uh, waiting like uh, about 30 seconds for it to change so that's just to show you now that you don't need to uninstall your uh, armory crate and then put it back on again just do those scans which you saw on my uh, command prompt and it should fix the problems like it's done for me like as i said before at the very beginning of the video it lasted with me for two days and i thought it's just a software problem when it boots up the first day but the next day when i was doing it again it was just like a uh, I didn't know what was going on. So to show you that again, once it's fixed, breathing, I might need to set that again because it's gone back to the standard red. So if we go here again, go back to breathing, random, there, yeah, it should fix that. But uh, everything was working perfectly again, there was no problems at all. So I was really happy with like uh, having not to uninstall like any software and put it back on again. And even when I do support, does get back to me today or tomorrow saying um, uh, we can uh, fix the problem by uninstalling. I can just say to them just now, I fixed it myself. And I can tell them how I did it so they can put that into their support page for people as well. Just say do your scans first and see what happens after you've done all your scans. So that's just a quick way of fixing your PC before you decide whether or not you want to uninstall the software, just do those simple command prompts like check disk, then check this slash F, which makes the PC, um, if you want to choose it, to boot up with a quick scan or SFC uh, space slash scan now, and it will scan the PC for problems. If it doesn't find anything, you will definitely see something happening at the very bottom of the screen on the, on the actual boot up window saying fixing, fixing, fixing. And once it's fixed, it will restart the PC and then you can try your uh, uh, armory crate again and be amazed that it's uh, back to working again. As you can see now, it's working perfectly. Quick, quick to change. No more delays, that's perfect. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you do. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. It's a wide variety of gaming, money making and other stuff. And I will see you next time on a video coming soon.
Thank you.